Hi guys, welcome to the second case recap of the K-Drama Extraordinary Attorney Wu. With a plot spoiler alert, let's get to the video. The episode begins with the wedding of Jin Ok and Ha Young. As the couple marches down the aisle, Ha Young stops in midway in shock. When Jin Ok drags her, Ha Young tramples on her dress, and because it's strapless, it slips down. Everyone is shocked by the incident, but Jin Ok's grandfather Ju Mong notices a Buddha statue on Ha Young's back, which he is more shocked to see. Ha Young's father John Gu meets with Sun Young and Mong Sok to file a lawsuit against Jin Ok's family. John Gu's secretary explains the incident to the two lawyers. The hotel the wedding was at is owned by Jin Ok's family. The staff had assured a smooth ceremony, but because of the humiliation, John Gu wants to sue the hotel. The hotel has offered a full refund and a 10 million won gift voucher, but John Gu wants nothing less than 1 billion won as compensation. Sun Young and Mong Sa try to explain that the amount the hotel offers is reasonable, but when John Gu retorts that they are no better than Tae Sun, which is their rival law firm, and the law firm John Gu has worked with this entire time, Sun Young gets irritated and agrees to John Gu's terms. Mong Sa and the team gather up to discuss the case. Su Ya notices that the wedding dress has also been done by the hotel. They need to find all the mistakes done by the hotel during the process of preparing the dress in order to claim the amount John Gu wants. Mong Sok asks Su Yan and Min Woo to go undercover as a couple and try out wedding dresses. Su Yan refuses to go with Min Woo and gets Mong Sok's permission to go with Jun Ho instead. So Min Woo and Young Woo get assigned to question the bride and the groom. Young Woo and Min Woo first go to see Ha Young. Even though they are married, the two live separately with their parents. Ju Mong, who is Jin Ok's grandfather, is a devoted Christian and used to adore her, and he has also been the person who introduced the couple and influenced them to get married. But after seeing her Buddha statue, Ju Mong has even mentioned breaking off the marriage. The wedding dress was tight during the dress fitting, but on the day of the wedding, it felt loosened. She has mentioned it to the employees, but they have assured her that everything is fine, but has put more pins on the inside of the dress. Young Wu who has been examining the room notices that there are many photos of Ha Young with her family and friends, and there is only one photo of her and Jin Ok, and it's in the corner of the room. So she asks her if she really loves her husband which makes Ha Young go speechless. Young Wu and Min Wu then go to see Jin Ok. Jin Ok is not very pleased with the lawsuit because the hotel is under their group of companies. So the lawsuit is basically a disgrace to his family. Jin Ok mentions that Ha Young has been receiving psychiatric treatment after the incident. Just like Ha Young, Jin Ok also doesn't seem to be much concerned about breaking off the wedding. While Jun Ho drives Su Yan to try out wedding dresses, Jun Ho gets a call from Young Wu. Young Wu starts talking about whales. Su Yan interrupts and tells her that she shouldn't be bothering Jun Ho during working hours, so Young Wu hangs up the phone. Su Yan learns that Young Wu follows around Jun Ho with her whale talks. Su Yan advises him to draw certain boundaries since that is the best thing he can do for Young Wu without letting her talk all the time. Su Yan gets a stomach ache on the way. Jun Ho hurries to the dress renting venue and Su Yan rushes to the restroom. She then calls up Young Wu asking her to bring her clothes to change. Jun Ho on seeing Young Wu directs her to the restroom Su Yan is in. To Su Yan's disappointment, she has brought her pajama pants. Since Su Yan has not recovered from her stomach ache, she asks Young Wu to go to the dressing venue with Jun Ho. So Jun Ho and Young Wu make it to the appointment. They select a design similar to the one Ha Young wore at her wedding. Even though Sue, who is the manager, tries to talk Young Wu out of it, she finally agrees to it when Young Wu insists. In the meantime, Su Yan overhears Ji Hei, who is an employee under Sue, complaining about having to buy bread for Sue. She mentions about Yu Wei, a former employee who has got fired after Ha Yang's incident. Su Yan quickly makes a call to Jun Ho and informs him about the phone call, and the caller is someone who carries a bag of bread. Jun Ho spots Ji Hei and asks about Yu Wei, claiming he met her earlier. When Ji Hei tells him that she resigned, Jun Ho tries to get her phone number. But Ji Hei refused to give it to him. Min Wu and Su Yan meet with Ha Yang's psychiatrist. They try to get him to testify on behalf of Ha Yang, but he refuses to do so. While waiting for Ji Hei in the bakery, from which she buys bread, Young Wu starts talking about whales. Jun Ho suggests they should talk about whales only during lunch hours, unless whale talk is absolutely necessary. Young Wu agrees to it as well. Jun Ho and Young Wu approach Ji Hei when she arrives and tries to get Yu Wei's number from her. Jun Ho admits to her that they are working on Ha Young's case and that Ha Young has been receiving psychiatric treatment because of the incident. On hearing this, Ji Hei tells them that they won't be able to reach Yu Wei since she left the country. On the trial day, Ji Hei agrees to testify as a witness. Even though she starts off by defending the hotel, she later admits that Ha Young's dress was switched since the one that was made for her had been torn. It was a mistake done by Ju Wei, so she was fired after the incident. Because there was no time, Sue picks up a dress with a similar design, but it was slightly bigger than that of Ha Yang's dress. 
Ji Hei confesses the truth because she felt guilty after hearing Ha Yang getting treated by a psychiatrist. Ha Yang also gets questioned by the defendant's lawyer. Apparently, Ha Yang had written a post in an online community about how relieved she is to break off from the marriage. After the trial, Ha Yang meets with Meng Sok and the team, and Meng Sok urges her to tell them the truth. Ha Yang admits that she was never interested in marrying Jinuk, but her father forced her to do so because of Jinuk's family's wealth, and she was promised a very profitable land after the marriage as a gift, which Zhang Gu was very interested in. The lawsuit is actually Zhang Gu's attempt to put Jinuk's family in a difficult position, since he can be in-laws. Yang Wu who was listening to the entire conversation gets an idea from hearing about the land that was promised to gift Ha Yang after the wedding. She points out that they should argue that, because of the hotel's mistake Ha Yang was not able to receive the gift of land. And with that, they would be able to seek a much larger sum of damage. Yang Wu gets tasked to write the attorney's statement of opinion since their line of argument has now changed. So in the next meeting with Zhang Gu, Sun Young informs him that they can get at least 3 billion won as compensation which Zhang Gu is delighted to hear. Ha Young speaks up with distress as her father celebrates and tells her that she doesn't want the lawsuit against Jin Uk's family. But Zhang Gu does not give her much concern and urges Sun Young to proceed with their plan. So Ha Young meets with Young Wu and asks for her advice on how to stop the trial. Young Wu advises her all she has to do is to say to the judge that she withdraws the lawsuit during the trial. On the day of the trial, Meng Sa questioned Jin Uk's uncle and makes him admit in the court that Yu Meng promised to gift a land to Ha Young after the marriage. Since it's undebatable, the judge agrees to change the statement in Ha Yang's favor. Ha Yang spots a woman walking into the court, and she gets emotional on seeing her. When the judge is almost about to give the ruling in Ha Yang's favor, Ha Yang interrupts and tells the judge that she withdraws the lawsuit. The defendant happily agrees to withdraw the lawsuit, and so the judge closes the lawsuit since the plaintiff withdrew the case. When Zhang Gu lashes out at Ha Yang for withdrawing the lawsuit, Ha Yang tells him that she got converted to Buddhism and introduces the woman who walked into the court as her lover. And we flash back to the day of the marriage. Ha Yang has stopped walking down the aisle in shock when she sees her girlfriend among the guests. She tells her father that if she's to marry it'll be with her. The two leave the courtroom happily as Zhang Gu struggles in shock. Later Sun Yang celebrates the victory with Meng Sok and the team since they were able to show off how competent they are to Zhang Gu. Zhang Gu has even handed them a new case, since he was impressed with the trial. Su Mi, who is the CEO of Tae Sun Law Firm, hears about Zhang Gu almost receiving the compensation with the help of Hun Dada, which is Sun Young's law firm. She gets interested in Young Wu when she sees that Young Wu was the one who solved the case. With that, the episode ends. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time.